One, two, three, four, five. Me and rap battle league, 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 league. All right, truth at five o'clock shadow battle review, and we are here at Invasion Volume Two. And right here in front of your eyes, we have the main event from night one. We have Chilla Jones versus CG. Uh, they put on a. It was a fight. It was a great battle. Uh, how do how do you guys feel the battle went? Uh, I think the battle was dope, man. Uh, I think it was a good exhibition. I think CG did his thing. You know, he kind of showed why he was at the top of the card. Um, you know, and I think I did my thing as well. Uh, you know, fresh off the plane, I kind of had to struggle to put it together. But, you know, we made it work, as professionals do. But I think it was a good battle, man. I think it's a battle y'all going to watch and replay it a thousand times. There's a lot of stuff in there from both of us that you're going to have to watch it again to really... You know what I'm saying? Absorb what we was talking about, but I think it was a fire battle. Fax, how do you feel the battle went, CG? Bro, I feel the exact same way, man. I'm very happy with what happened. Uh, you know, some minor stumbles on my part. Like he said, there was some tiredness on his part. I think neither one of us was at 100% or where we could have been, if I'm being completely honest. But I'm happy with my performance, for sure happy with my performance. I think my energy level was crazy high. I think he does what he always does last night. He had the scheming going. He had just crazy shit that's over most people's heads to be completely honest with you and uh like i said i think my energy was up there and i just think it was just a crazy matchup that people are going to love to see on camera for sure facts it definitely was uh people definitely got their money worth uh chilla i have to ask you came and there's a lot of times where a battler who's battled all around the world such as yourself comes to these smaller leagues and then they sometimes don't show up you came, and, and I, when CG was going and, and you were making your faces, I was like, I don't know what's going to happen. And then you really put on a show. And despite all the stuff that you said you were going through, you know, the jet lag and everything like that, and then you put on a killer performance. How do you keep doing it? You never mail it in. How do you keep doing it? Uh, it's about y'all, man. It's about, it's about the people that support me. It's about my city. Like, I understand that no matter where I am and where I go, I'm a representation of so much more than myself. You know what I'm saying? I'm a representation of everybody in Massachusetts, the whole New England. You know what I'm saying? When I when I go to London, when I go to Australia, when I go to all these different places, like, they look at me as that face for an entire region. Bang! If I go out there and act like I don't give a, give a damn about a battle, like... It, it reflects badly on all of us. It's not just me. It's more It's more than my brand than anything else, man. So, you know, no matter if it's, you know, Mr. A, super top tier, no matter if it's somebody you, you've never heard of or considered, like, I, I can't change the way I perform based on who it is. I got to give 110% no matter who I'm standing in front of because at the end of the day, people are watching the battle to see what I do. You know what I'm saying? It's, just, it's the same thing. No matter who you are, no matter what your name is, how many views you get, always be on your A game. Oh! Talk that shit. I love it. I'm like it, there's there's never an opportunity for you to take off because that can be the first battle somebody ever watches of you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you go in there and you choke two rounds or you're uninspired, low energy, no projection, and somebody watches that for the first time, they might not watch you again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So I'm kind of from that era where it's like, I got I got probably 30 seconds to make you like me right. when you turn on my battle. Yep. So it's it just has to be that way, man. Every every stage I step on. Alright, so CG, let me ask you. Because me, if I knew that I was battling Chilla Jones and I would have gotten in front of them lights and that crowd, I would have been like, look, man, let me just get the autograph. But you still, you came prepared, you put up a fight, you put on a show, and, and the fans were happy with your bars, man. It was my first time seeing you live, and I was 100% impressed. I was like, man, this dude, this dude is really good. So uh, how, how was your preparation for this battle? Like, what, what was your mindset coming into this battle? If I'm being completely honest, I had a lot going on, and it, and it wasn't as smooth of a preparation process as I would have liked. But at the end of the day, my whole thing is don't try to do what Chilla does against Chilla because that's like trying to outshoot threes against the Golden State Warriors. Like, I'm not going to come at this dude trying to scheme. Like, I know that my key should be loudness, energy, 
presence, like I should come in and with bars because that's what I do, jokes, like just, just things, show my personality, show who I am and express that as best as I possibly can against this man because I got mad respect for Chilla. I talk some shit leading up to it mm -hmm. as we do promoting fights out there that's what this is but that's my dude right there like if you don't have respect for chiller then you're not paying attention to this game bang mm -hmm. like mad respect for this man so i came into that knowing i had to do what i could do to try to counter what he does so that's that's where i came at it from all right so i asked this question to everybody who's had an opportunity and who i've had an opportunity to interview what's next for chiller jones Man, uh, a few different things, man. Next weekend, I'm out in Seattle. I got a three-rounder with Stewie Newton. So, uh, you know, I'll be back on a plane to the West Coast tomorrow morning. And then uh, Friday, I'll be out in Seattle doing, this, doing it all over again. You know what I'm saying? Getting ready for that one. So um, then after that, I got a couple other things that's going to be announced, a couple King of the Dot moves and things like that. But, um, yeah, man, I'm, I'm, I'm anxious to come back to Premier. I'm anxious to come back to, you know, Massachusetts and battle again, man. I, you know, this is – I don't get a lot of home games, you know what I mean? So I, I love to battle in New England as much as I can, man. So, you know, so hopefully mm – -hmm. You know, I can come back to Premier at least one more time before 2018 is out. All right, well, speaking for the Premier crowd and the Premier fans, we'd love to have you whenever you can come. What's next for you, CG? I'll keep it short and simple. I'm taking bookings. Bang! Let's go. <laughs> All right, if y'all look down in the YouTube video, we'll probably have his booking information. If you guys are looking to get CG, uh, you know, you want to book or anything, holla at him. Holla at both of them. This is your boy Truth. I'm here with Chilla Jones and CG. Invasion Volume 2 Premier Rap Battle League. It's a wrap. We'll see you guys next time. I holla. Breathing for you.